and welcome back to another video. So today we're back here for another speed build, but today's one is actually a collab with Ocean Sims. So today what we're going to be doing is sort of like a build slash create a sim collab. Um, so basically what I'm doing is building this home here and um, on Ocean Sims' channel, she's going to go ahead and create a family for this. So the family is called the Ramsey family and it's a kind of a combination of six different sims, um, including a pet as well. So I'll go ahead and put a picture on screen now so you can go ahead and see what you know they actually look like and um, if you want to go ahead and see those people being made and to learn more about the backstories then make sure you head over to Ocean Sims's channel to go ahead and see her video where she goes more in detail about that and actually creates the Sims. So today we're actually going to be doing the house for them and honestly I'm so so happy how this build turned out. It's probably one of my favourite mansions that I've ever done and um, it just turned out so so well and um, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second uh, but firstly if you don't know who Ocean Sims is she does some amazing content on her channel in The Sims 4. She makes some amazing sims probably some of the best sims I've ever seen in my life to be honest and she also does a few let's plays on her channel as well so I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to that and to her video so you can go ahead and check her out already if you haven't and if you're new today and you're coming over from Ocean Sims' channel to mine. My name is Thomas and my channel here is called Thomas TV where I make a range of different Sims 4 speed builds. Um, so on today on Sundays I actually do mansion builds. Um, so this one is a 64 by 64 sometimes it's 50 by 50s just kind of depends but normally on a Sunday it is a mansion. And then I also upload on Wednesdays and Fridays as well which most of the time is other types of speed builds. So if you like speed builds in The Sims 4 then you know consider subscribing. And I also have a tendency to talk way too fast have you probably heard from the intro of this video so far I've been talking way too fast I can kind of tell and I'm like hmm should I redo this voiceover now I'm like you know what we're just gonna leave it how it is <laughs> so you may have just seen there about a minute ago that we were actually in Willow Creek on one of the 50 by 50 lots and um, so I was going to originally build that there um, but then I kind of wanted to incorporate some train tools in today's build because I don't do them too often and it kind of just makes them look a little bit different from some other builds and mansions and stuff so I wanted to go ahead and do that today and um, but the train kind of took up so much space that the house ended up being a little bit too small for what I had in mind so I went ahead and moved it here to the 64 by 64 lot in Brindleton Bay so uh, I'd also I don't think I mentioned but it is up on the gallery as well if you want to go ahead and download this my origin ID is real Thomas TV one and I'll also go ahead and leave a link in the description to the online gallery if you want to go ahead and download the build that way um, and also as well in terms of bedrooms and bathrooms Again, like normal, I've kind of forgotten already. <laughs> I built this yesterday and I've forgotten everything about the build. I don't know how I managed to do that, but it's literally, I do that every single build. Um, when it comes to the voiceover, I can't remember how many bedrooms and bathrooms there are. But for some reason, I have a feeling it's six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, I think. Um, it's going to annoy me. You know what? Whilst I'm doing this voiceover like I did the other day, I'm going to go ahead and just load up the game so I can go ahead and check the gallery to see um, how many bedrooms and bathrooms actually are because I'm probably just lying there. Um, but you can just go ahead and click the link in the description to the online gallery and it'll tell you there quickly. Um, but yeah, so we're just working again on the train there. Um, it did take me a little while to get the train how I wanted it to be because, you know, um, I don't really do train tools that often in my builds, like train manipulation, I should say. Um, so I kind of just do you know, little edits here and there, but I've never really done anything that's really that detailed in depth and stuff. Um, so because I wanted to do that today, I had to spend a little bit more time on that. Um, so instead of boring you, I did go ahead and take out some of the repetitive bits of that. Um, and I was kind of thinking, should I do like one big slope sort of thing? So, you know, you've got the house on top of the hill and then the hill kind of just really smoothly comes down. Or should I kind of make it a little, sort of like staggered, I guess you could call it. So there's kind of different levels where I can put plants on and stuff. Um, so I, I was kind of wanting to do the staggered thing so I could put, you know, different levels of flowers everywhere going up to the house, if that makes sense. Um, but it kind of didn't really work out that way. I did sort of get it like that, but it's not as how I wanted it in the beginning um, but you know it's not a bad thing though because I'm still really happy how it turned out so this is the little granny flat thing or the guest house however you want to you know call it and um, because in this family there is actually a grandma who lives with this family here um, and I'm not going to talk too much about the family because Ocean Sims will go ahead and tell you all about that in her video uh, but I will kind of say a little bit here and there but yeah so there is a uh, like a grandma living with this family as well and she has her own little guest house there and um, I was having some sort of trouble with that house you may have just seen how it was kind of working it was really odd Um, kind of the floor was keep disappearing so I couldn't actually place anything on the top floor of the house Um, but then I was kind of thinking well that's probably a little bit too big that little uh, little guest house thing for just one person anyway so I just went ahead and made it one floor there 
But anyway, so the, my game is loaded up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and double check <laughs> um, how many bedrooms and bathrooms are. So there is six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. I think that's what I said before. Um, and it actually came in at 405,338 simoleons. And like I said, it's built on the 64 by 64 lot in Brindleton Bay. So that price of 400 and something thousand, that's actually... Uh, Kind of a lot for one of my builds. Um, I noticed recently that my builds have been like around the 200,000 mark when I was looking back a couple of them. Um, so that was kind of a lot. But, you know, saying that, it's kind of understandable because it is 64 by 64 lot. It does have six bedrooms and it's for a very big family. So, um, you know, it's understandable having the price. Um, so this home, in terms of what else it has, apart from those uh, bedrooms and bathrooms, um, I think it has two living rooms. It has a uh, garage, as you can see there on the side, uh, which is actually being converted into a gym. Now, I actually do that most of the time in my builds but this gym is even bigger because one of the sims one of the teens i believe it is she's very athletic and really likes sport and stuff so i kind of made her sort of dream gym in that carriage actually um, and there's lots of stuff to do in there in terms of gym equipment um, and there's also a um sort of like a artist's room i guess you could call it i don't really know how to describe it but the mother is actually a freelance artist so i kind of made like a room for her to do her work in um, and also as well uh, one of the teens is also kind of interested in art so i went ahead and kind of made that as sort of like a shared space for them to use and do something together um, I believe there is also another art easel somewhere else in the house if I'm not mistaken um, and then the kid in this house um, she is actually really interested in uh, books and stuff she's very studious um, is, did I say that right I think I did <laughs> anyway so her room was just packed full of books and bookshelves and stuff and when Ocean Sims was actually telling me about the backstory of each of these sims when she mentioned about the uh, that child being very kind of interested in studying and books and stuff I just had this vision of kind of packing her room just full of books everywhere you look so that's kind of what I did in that room um, so this room right here is the master bedroom um, so this is for the man and the dad the dad is actually in the military um, but again I'll kind of leave that up to Ocean Sims to kind of go in more detail about the family um, but he actually really wants to be a um, like a chef a head chef and it's actually funny because you may have noticed I don't know if you picked up on it yet but the name Ramsey and the dad of the house wants to be a chef <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that Ocean Sims did do that on purpose <laughs> anyway, so this is kind of his kitchen. I mean, it is like the main kitchen the house everybody shares it but I mean I just can imagine that this is like this space that he spends a lot of time in uh, so it's very big and grand it's got the uh, oven in the middle of the iron counter kind of really stands out uh, with that hood thing from cool kitchen above it um, that one's actually classed as a light I believe I'm pretty sure you can find it in the light menu um, but anyway so the kitchen is pretty huge it's got lots of stuff in it and that kind of fancy coffee machine from get together over there those two little appliances um, and there's also like a dining room with a big piano and stuff um, in here with the glass windows there that's where the dining table is so you can kind of look out at that nice view because um the ocean is behind this house um and yeah so what was else i was going to mention uh something about one of the other sims i think i've mentioned all of them actually um there's also a dog i don't know if i mentioned that so yeah and you know this is a very kind of different thing for me doing very personalized builds because if you're a regular viewer of my channel you know that i kind of just do my builds very neutral i don't really do you know a personalized bedroom for this type of sim who's interested in you know a particular interest or whatever activity i keep them all very neutral so it's easy for you to fit any type of family into one of my builds from the gallery um and i've done that for a while but i always used to do very kind of personalized rooms kids rooms clutter and stuff like that and for a very long time now i've been just away from that for some reason and um, but from the family farmhouse build that i did yesterday no um, on Friday, I, I'm recording this on Saturday, this went up yesterday for me, so two days ago for you, um, that family farmhouse build was also very personalised and stuff, um, so I don't know why all of a sudden I'm kind of getting back into clutter and making personalised things, but it's kind of nice as a change. So this is the kids room here which is um, the one who's very interested in books and stuff uh, so you can kind of see how I'm just making um, lots of book things there on the clutter shelves well that doesn't make sense put lots of clutter on the shelves <laughs> I'm a mess today um, and also as well I kind of wanted to make some sort of unit around the bed um, so I kind of took two bookshelves from um, what do you call it what's the pack again is it kid no it's parenthood I think around the bed and then kind of put shelves above it as well that you would have saw just a minute ago so this room here is the Art Sims' room, um, so it's very pink. Um, I wasn't actually too sure at first if it would kind of fit that personality because I actually hadn't seen The Sims, um, how they actually look as I built this from Ocean Sims. Um, so I asked her and she said it did fit, so that's great. Um, and I kind of went ahead and put a 
a wall of side in there, uh, which is, uh, looking back at it, I don't know if it fits in that well, um, because sometimes what I do is, is that I'll take like the exterior brick, could I swatch it and make that a feature wall inside? And sometimes I even do it with a side in as well and use that as a feature wall. Um, but that side in, although I did use it on the exterior, it wasn't in that colour swatch. So I don't know if it looks that great. If it kind of bothers you, then feel free to change it. I, you know, it's only a wall, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. <laughs> anyway, so this is kind of like the family study room here. Um, and I kind of made it sort of like a little um, meeting area here as well so if somebody has a meeting going on they can use that I kind of do that a lot with studies um, and or if somebody's just using the computer and somebody wants to just sit and chat then they can do that as well um, and yeah so I don't actually think we're fully finished on the exterior um, in case you're new here and you're wondering why we're jumping all over the place uh, I actually like to do builds where I kind of just sort of do the process in really random orders so I kind of get the main part of the house done first but then afterwards I might do a little bit of the interior so like I'll do a bedroom a kitchen and I'll go back and do a little bit of landscaping come back and do the study just kind of really mix it up so it's a bit more interesting for the speed build because what I used to notice was in my bigger mansion builds in the past which had you know a very large number of bedrooms and um, I always tend to do the bedrooms last which meant in the speed build video yourself that you see on YouTube after a certain point in the video all you're gonna see for the rest of that is bedrooms and I kind of thought that maybe that's a little bit boring so that's kind of what kind of started me just switching up the orders I do things in um, and I much kind of do it like that because it's not like I just you know record everything in the normal order and then rearrange the clips in the video I actually build it myself that way too which keeps it more interesting for me as I'm doing it especially for builds that may take a little bit longer and um, so uh, like I said we're back on the exterior now and this is the big pool area which I actually really like so I put lots of different uh, fountains and stuff around it and kind of made it a little bit more of an interesting shape Um it looks a bit more fancy that way I think um, and then we're kind of just around the pool putting lots of different um, outdoor seating and um, those little um lounge chair things, I couldn't think what they're called there for a second, <laughs> those lounge chair things which actually aren't functional, um, you actually take two chairs from Perfect Patio I think it is and you kind of merge those together to make something that looks like a lounge chair, um, I hope one day that we do get that added though because there's been a lot of talk recently about the Tropical Paradise pack that's been kind of leaked and sort of you know just being put out there somehow Um I don't know if it's you know real or not I haven't really talked about it that much and um, just because I kind of have a feeling it's not going to be real and uh, but I know everybody's been talking about it on Twitter and um, but anyway so if that you know does happen then it'd be great if I could kind of get some like lounge chairs with that because I think that'd be really nice because I always have to make fake ones yeah for my builds and stuff so it'd be nice to have those uh, actually functional Um so this room here is the uh, sporty teens room now also I didn't mention but all of these, uh, all of the kids in this house are all girls uh, which kind of just a little bit different because um, Ocean Sims is actually saying it and I noticed this as well how people tend to do like lots of mixed gender households and stuff which I actually do myself so it was kind of a nice change just to have all the same gender and um, so we just kind of did that room there. Now I did actually do a little bit of gym equipment in that room as well which because I wasn't really sure how to fill up that room because it was pretty big and she is interested in sport so I went ahead and actually just put a few gym equipment items in there. There, which you might use a lot and then it's kind of the main gym in the garage which you know she can use as well and maybe the family uses it and this is the gym here that I was talking about so the garage is pretty huge and um, I was going to kind of make it into maybe multiple can't speak a multi-purpose room and um, so might have you know some other activities in here and maybe like a car uh, like sized up which I sometimes do as well um, but I just decided to make it into a really nice big gym and um, since you know it, there is a sim that lives here that's really interested in that so now we're working on this year, which is like the granny flat. Um, at, at that term, a granny flat, I think it might just be a British thing because I feel like I've never really heard that before from other people that I talk to. Um, but anyway, so it's basically just another name for a guest house, but the granny's living here. Anyway, so uh, we're just kind of working on doing her little living room area here. Um, and imagine like that she really likes to come and just sit here by herself because I imagine that having a big family like this is probably pretty crazy at times. Lots of noise and stuff. So she kind of just comes here when there's lots of drama going on in the house. <laughs> and she just sits there looking out of her view with those big windows there um, and she also has a bedroom there and a bathroom a few bookshelves and also a chess table just kind of another activity to do really um, I don't know if she's particularly interested in that but you know just something else to do and then this little area here is sort of like a little gardening area um, I tend to put these in a lot of my builds and um, this is actually next to the granny's sort of um, little house thing so I imagine that maybe she looks after the plants there but in case you don't want to use that area, I did go ahead and actually on the uh, sort of like striped grass I made, I just put actual in-game plants there. So not actually growable ones. Um, so you, if you want to 
use that, you know, then you can replace them with actual, you know, harvestable ones. Um, but yeah, so we're on at the screenshots now. I really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below. Let me know about what you thought of this build. If you have any more suggestions for the things you want to see next on the channel, that'd be really helpful to hear. And once again, make sure you head over to Ocean Sims' channel to go ahead and check out her amazing content, as well as the creative sim of this family. And also make sure to subscribe to her if you haven't. And again, if you're new here to my channel today, then welcome. Make sure to leave a like, share and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, you can go ahead and download this home from the gallery. My origin ID is realthomastv1 and I'll see you all next time. Bye!